The Pentagon says in a statement that these additional troops will be providing administrative support. That includes uh, providing heating, meal distribution uh, and monitoring the welfare uh, of individuals in the custody of border security. There are also be, uh, some, some military lawyers uh, being deployed to assist with the huge backlog of immigration cases uh, currently at the US border. Now, this uh, follows a request from the Department of Homeland Security. They they say that their border security agents are currently overwhelmed uh, and these additional U.S. troops will essentially free those border agents up to do their day jobs uh, to uh, monitor and secure uh, the U.S. border. Now, this, the Pentagon has stressed that these troops will not be conducting any law enforcement operations, but they have had to sign this waiver to change this long-standing U.S. policy uh, that military personnel aren't allowed to come into to contact with migrants. That being said, Harry, does this risk dragging the military into what's quite a contentious political issue? Yeah, critics of the Trump administration say exactly that. They say that the way in which the Trump administration has handled this issue uh, has elevated this crisis and 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 uh, uh, pushed it to a point where uh, the administration uh, is allowed to make the argument that they need additional uh, U.S. troops. The argument that, that critics also make is essentially that the departments that are supposed to uh, uh, monitor the border to deal with migrants there, those departments aren't being funded properly so the US military is having to step in plug the gap and 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 do a job that uh, uh, troops aren't really uh, uh, designed to do now the Trump administration they say well look actually if you look at the border uh, there is a record number uh, of families coming to the southern border and, and they have a point uh, on, on that argument and they also say that Congress hasn't been working with the Trump administration to properly fund these departments that's why they've had to turn to the US military. Uh, we know that there are likely to be more and more migrants, more and more families of migrants arriving uh, over the next few months. So these troops that are currently deployed uh, at the US border, over 3,000 of them at the moment, they're likely to remain there for quite some time to come. Harry Horton here in Washington. Thanks for being with us.